So hi there, I'm going to show you a bit in this screencast how to use the Falstad circuit simulator. If you go to www.falstad.com slash circuit, that should take you there. And I'll just refresh my screen. And uh, this applet window will start automatically. And you'll get this default circuit that starts um, oscillating. So RLC circuit, so just uh, we can get rid of that or just click on the stopped. Uh, we can choose um, from a variety of circuits here, and we're going to, for this uh, screencast, we're going to do an op amp, and we'll come down here and do an amplifier, and an, a non-inverting amplifier is fine, and boom, there's the circuit set up for you, pretty much ready to go. We have some graphs down here of our input voltage and output voltage, so our input is this AC voltage source, it's a, a time-varying signal. We have the op amp itself, and this is our feedback resistor from the output around to the uh, inverting input. And here's our input resistance, and these have values of 2K and 1K. So we can change the parameters of our circuit to um, highlight just by hovering over the object and right click, or on a Mac, yeah, it's um, command click or control click, I believe. Uh, so we just edit. And so, for example, instead of 15, we wanted maybe 9 volts and uh, minus 9 volts. That's fine. And uh, instead of a 2K feedback resistor, I'll right-click on that. And we can make this uh, maybe 50K. And instead of 1K here, right-click, sorry. Oops, highlight, right-click. And we'll make that... Um, uh, 10k and our, our voltage source here we can edit that instead of a 5 volt signal let's just make that a 1 volt signal for simplicity uh, 40 Hertz is yeah, that's fine and no DC offset which would just shift the the wave up or down um, and no phase offset that's left to right signal left to right shifting. Um, well, that should do it. That should be able to give us a, a simulation. So let's just uncheck the stop box and see what we get. So it looks like here we're displaying the maximum voltage. If I right click on the graph, uh, I can show the peak value. I can also show the negative peak value down here. So one volt plus or minus one volt. And here I can show the negative peak value, so I have plus or minus 6 volts. So this is a gain of 6, which is right for a non-inverting amplifier. 1 plus the ratio of these feedback resistors. Okay, um, that's about it. That's how basically how you use this. You can. Uh, that's just a quick and dirty demonstration. If I stop this, um, I can delete individual parts. I can say delete. I can just right click on an open area and say add a wire and click and drag the wire. I can add resistors if I want. I can um, add, be even neat, you can't see it over here, but I can go to inputs and outputs and I can add a, an LED. So I can do that. select drag so I can drag this from here to here from here to here and I think I can in insert a uh, a ground there we go so it's 100 ohms that's probably a little low but it'll it'll work and this would be our LED and now I can actually this I could see this turn on or this LED would flash it 40 hertz. Okay, there's a circuit simulation. Okay, bye.